both uh, placed uh, powered animals up against uh, Lusaka Dynamos up against uh, powered animals who sit uh, number 13 in the MTN uh, Super Division. Pressure here on the hosts, uh, powered animals, and um, equal pressure, but maybe um, a good one for Lusaka Dynamos because they want to be in that top four and uh, represent Zambia in a Kafa competition. Now, could Lusaka Dynamos be punished here? Just wide. Kennedy Musonda clearly not happy with himself and uh, Spencer Sautu who squares the ball to he brings it down on his chest and beats Joseph Zimba. Chance here now, Powered Animals. Good defensive work, but trouble completely not over. Goalkeeper is good in Mongandala. And uh, Charlie denied. That was uh, quite some uh, threat. And the soccer Dynamo's leaving very uncomfortably on this run. Spencer Sauto again causing the problems. Good save in the first instance by Magenge. Oh, this could be dangerous for Lusaka Dynamo's opportunity for power now. Luka Tamanga makes it 1-0 for Power Dynamo's. Good play from the home side. Good movement. And Mongandala has no chance. And it's three points for Power Dynamo's. Pressure here on Lusaka Dynamo's. The Kito Dynamo explodes. And uh, it can't be good for the visiting side. It's Benson Sakala who manages to pick out Spencer Sautu and he has been a problem on this flank all along. The challenge initially, he manages to ride it from Musa Muhammad, cuts the ball back, and it's the left back in Luka Chamanga joining in in attack, narrows down the angle. Good look up from Spencer Sautu after making Mongandala commit. The goalkeeper tries to make his way back into the goal, but can't make it back in time. But Spencer Sautu, clever play, picking out the run of Luka Chamanga, who finishes with his not-so-favored right foot. Benson Sakala to the 18. That was not a bad header. It's uh, Spencer Sautu. What is he claiming? Well, he is claiming that Mongandala got a touch to it. For a corner, right? Yes, for a corner. It was a deep free kick coming through. Spencer Sautu receives the challenges of Musa Mohammed. Doesn't look like they've got a chance, a touch, but it was from Benson Sakala with that. And Spencer Sautu gets a lot of power behind it. And that is supposed to be goal number two. Very, very close. And uh, he's certainly been very thorny this afternoon. Yeah. Spencer Sautu. He's always been in motion, always wanting to get involved and plays the ball through to Godfrey Nguenya. Gets the return pass, cushions it with his left foot and just fails to get that shot on target. It was a nicely weighted pass back to him from Godfrey Nguenya but just looks for power with his right foot and ends up not getting it on target. And Mongandala had already committed, anticipating a low shot. Oshen Mushure, Lusaka Dynamos, can use the dangerous last minutes to full effect. Chance coming through. Goalkeeper has committed himself. Good claim from Lawrence Mulenga. Very good claim. That's a lot of energy from the coach. He knows just how things can just be damaged in these few minutes remaining. Did the goalkeeper land badly? Why is he still on the ground? Well, it does seem so. And uh, it was uh, Musa Lemisa who beat Luka Chamanga. But then for Benson Sakala, it was the contact from uh, Libamba Moyela. And uh, for Lawrence Molenga, it was uh, the landing. Ndala wants to be well shielded. It's uh, Spencer Sautu, it would uh, appear. Will he deliver? Will he end the game on a bright note? Will Arthur Davis Stadium lights be bright in the air? Will it be Nguenya? Will it be Sautu? Would you believe it was the unexpected? It was Dev Daka looking totally unconcerned. They were looking to catch out Lusaka Dynamos and most especially Mongandala because he was anticipating either Spencer Sautu or Godfrey Nguenya.
and uh, on the day it's uh, Tamanga's goal that uh, has it that makes all the difference and it is Pod Dynamo's one Lusaka Dynamo's nil.